well, is he still alive? And I remember clearly they was like, no. And all we could do is just, all we could do is just stand there. Because, you know, you, you never think that people are, you know, you never think. Here that, one day and then you're gone. Then you go on the next. I'm sorry. No, you're fine. You never, you just never think. I'm sorry. No. It's all good. We'll get you some tissue. Yeah. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. He died at the house. Yeah, so my brother. He, he, yeah, he, he got killed at the house. He got killed at the house. I want to, yeah. like I said, now I don't want to. Uh, if you want to talk about it, we can. I because I want to talk about that day. Just kind of, you know, where were the, you? Where, where were you at? And how you? How did? How did it affect? It's your brother, of course, but right. it's been years now. It, can we talk about it? You know, yeah. Like how was that that day? Like when when this all happened. Um, so I remember it was like uh, I would, we wasn't home. So my mom, like I said, she's a lady bug jumper. So it was like probably like a week before their second line. And um, so they were really getting like clothes together. So we were at my aunt's house. My aunt lives like probably like six, seven minutes from us. And um, we all talking about this is when Love Me, Love Me Not was about to drop. So he had just um, showed everybody was just seeing a video and talk about how good the video was. Like this was the one that was going to put him to the next level Nobody was messing with this video. He shot it at Tipitina's like it was like a live band and everything. So we knew that this was like one of those moments that was going to propel him to the next moment. Um, and just like we sitting there, we talking and they just call on the phone like he had been shot. So, you know, my brother been shot before. So, you know, we like, OK, he been shot. Is he OK? He was like, we don't know. It's really bad this time. And, um, you know, so. All I remember is my mom running down the street about my auntie house to run to the scene. And uh, we ended up going there before her. It was me and my cousin. We ended up driving there before her because we had to let her know because she didn't want to go um, at that time. So we ended up going before her. And um, and everything was still there? Everything. We was. Yeah, everything. Because it just had happened. Like, it didn't okay, just so happen. You made it there before the police did? The police were there. Okay. They were there. The crime people were there. And um, all you could see was him laying next to the steps. And they didn't even in, cover him up or nothing? No, so it was like, you know, like I said, it was still, the coroner's hadn't came or anything. Right. So we was like, well, is he still alive? And I remember clearly, they was like, no. And all we could do is just, all we could do is just stand there. Because you know, you, you never think that people are, you know, you never think here then, one day and then you're gone. Then you're gone the next. I'm sorry. No, you're fine. You never, you just never think. I'm sorry. No. It's all good. We'll get you some tissue. Yeah. I don't but, know. I'll get it. Yeah. Yeah, you just never think. But, uh, so. And to see that, that's the problem. You know, because that image can never go away. And I think that affects you even more than if. You hadn't seen it. You if, know yeah, what I mean? you know, because you think you're going there, you're going to see them people again, but you're really not. So I think my whole thing was just how was we going to tell my mm -hmm. mom? Because my mom and my brother, like we said, I'm, we like 14 years apart. But they were on their way down there. She, yeah. But we so had did to go. she end up coming to we see? We end up, so by the time her. we we got back to tell them that he was gone, my mom was like running to, mm -hmm. running down the street to my AT house and mm -hmm. she was we we intercepted. So she like, y'all, what happened? And we told her we was like, you know, he gone. And that's a moment that 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 always gonna scar me to see my mama and how she dropped to know that he it was done. She fell out. Yeah, she did. Of course, yeah. cause that's you're you know, a mom now, right? Yeah. I'm a mom now and I know And I think that affects you even more because like for me personally, I never experienced anything like what you're experiencing, but you know how like when you watch sentimental movies and stuff like yeah, that you, you didn't feel, cry yeah. you, you did not cry before you have kids but, but once you, you start having kids it's like it's different everything makes you, you cry, cry. Yep. especially if they're talking about children children and oh somebody's my God, child because like you can put yourself in that person's and position you and you feel you it feel it so it's totally different so like even just knowing that she's a mother and, and she, yeah. have to endure that but then for me it's like once I'm in tune with God now, where cause I was raised in the church and all of that, but I think when you really find God later on as an adult, right, 
And you know that everything happens for a reason. Everything and it's does. it's bad that of how some things happen terribly. And that makes people question like, how can there be a God if they go like this? Or right. If they go like that. But like I tell everybody, and when I tell people things, I'm not telling them for them. I'm telling them also for myself because it can happen to, to anybody. anybody. Yep. So yep, yep, I'm yep. trying to heal myself in a lot of different ways. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101.